All right, let's start over because my mic wasn't plugged in. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another Gossip and Glam. Is this thing on? Please be on. See, this is my only pet peeve about using the mic is that if it's not, I'm so paranoid. If it's like not plugged in correctly or I accidentally hit mute or something, then the whole video is ruined. Pretty much unusable, right? As opposed to if I don't use the mic, the sound quality might not be as great. Well, it won't be great, but it's like the camera mic always picks up the the sound, right? So at least the video won't be ruined. It just won't be as as good. So I don't know, I'm trying to be a better YouTuber, guys. Like I'm trying. What I was saying earlier is that this is actually my favorite concealer. I use it all the time. Um, you guys are actually probably tired of hearing me talk about the exact same products in every one of my Gossip and Glams. So that's why I try to use like at least one new thing whenever I come on here. But for the most part, you guys, I have my favorites. Like I have my favorites and I'm not a makeup junkie. That's the other thing. I don't buy a lot of new products. What's new? I think what I buy the most would probably be mascara because I do like testing out new mascaras. Um, lashes are just my thing, you know? Actually, I'll get into that a little bit later, but I buy a lot of mascaras and um, maybe lip colors. Like, I enjoy a lip color, particularly in the fall. So I think I'm actually going to do a dark lip today. I'll link, like, the stuff that I constantly use, I'll, I'll start linking like, I'll start putting links down below for you guys. It's not sponsored, but, you know, if I can find an affiliate link, I'll, I'm gonna use it, you know what I mean? Like, give me my 30 cents, girl, come on. But yeah, not sponsored. I'm still waiting for the sponsors, you guys. Like, <laughs> why nobody don't want to sponsor me? It's because I talk about black-owned businesses all the time, isn't it? Damn it. Kidding. Mac Studio Fix in C8. All right, so for my brows, let me come in closer. Step back, you dancing kind of close. This is my current brow pencil of the moment. It's by NYC. It's in dark brown. I actually really like this pencil, so I'll link this down below as well. I use it all the time. You can see how small it is now. And I just go in and... Follow the natural line on the bottom. And then just fill it in with some strokes going up. Like that. And then I just take the brush on the end and just kind of um, get rid of some of the product at the front. That's it, so simple. My brows don't take long to do since I have them microbladed. But I do like to still fill them in when I'm wearing a full face of makeup just because I feel like the look, you know, it's the look I'm going for. Without without being filled in, they still do look very natural, which works when I'm not wearing makeup. And I do have a very, very detailed video all about my microblading experience as well as a one-year... Um, follow-up video update video so if you missed that check it out i don't think i'm going to be documenting the touch-up just because i've already shared pretty much everything there is to share like i don't think there's any more details that you guys really need to know and there's no point beating a dead horse right this was just some concealer by sephora i don't like it that's why i just use it for my brows favorite contour Queen Collection, CoverGirl. It was sent to me. They don't sell the Queen Collection in Canada. They don't think there's black girls out here. But <laughs> but my girl D sent it to me and I love it. So next time I find myself in New York, I'm gonna have to hit up a Target, see if I can find it. But yeah, I love it. Look how warm that is, it's just so pretty. Um, so what was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about lashes, right? Saying that I was a lash girl. One of my favorite features on my face is literally my eyes, and I do have long lashes, which I always get complimented on. Um, 
when I'm wearing mascara. So when I'm not wearing mascara, like right now, you can see them, but nothing to write home about, right? Because they're very fine and light, just like my hair. But when I have mascara on, they stand out more and they look really nice. So that's why mascara is kind of my thing. And I'm always like, you know, buying new mascaras and stuff like that. Just like I'm sure if your favorite feature is your lips, then you're probably constantly buying lip products and lippies and stuff like that. My battery's gonna die. Let me go change that quick. You know what pisses me off is I literally just took that battery off the charger. Like how is it dead in five minutes? It's so annoying. So the problem is that Canon batteries are super expensive. So I decided to cheap out and buy some off eBay, you know, like the knockoff brands. They're shit, you guys. <laughs> Don't bother. Just buy the real one. You know, sometimes you try to save a couple bucks and it just ends up not being worth it. Life lessons. Ooh, look at that bridge, y'all. I got a bridge. That's pretty. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, lashes, so. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, all that to say is, you know, I like my lashes, so I'm into mascaras, but I also really like this whole idea of waking up pretty, so I decided to try actual lash extensions, which you guys, I absolutely loved the look. I loved the look, and you really do wake up feeling like super pretty and done, and you, you don't need makeup. It's like, it just accentuates your features, you know? But, so I gave lash extensions a solid effort, but you guys, I just don't think they're for me as much as I love them. It's not that I don't love them. Oh, that's beautiful. It's not that I don't love them. It's that, okay, number one, I don't like the process. Like I don't like lying down on my back with my eyes closed for two hours. I don't like it. <laughs> with somebody standing over me. I just don't like that feeling, you know what I mean? I, I just don't like that feeling and I, I, I wasn't able to get used to that feeling. It's very uncomfortable. Um, the other thing is that the lashes are, the lashes are, they hurt. Like when they come loose and turn the, the other way around by accident or when you wake up in the morning and one's sticking you in your eye, listen, girl. That don't feel good. They're hard. They're not like, they don't feel like your natural lashes. They they hurt. I wish I could be a lash girl. You lash girls are so pretty to me. Like you're so put together and polished and pretty to me, but I'm not. Also, excuse my nasally voice today. I'm congested today. What I have decided to try though, speaking of lashes, is Latisse, which is like a medical grade lash growth serum. I just bought it. It's expensive. It's like $150 for a three mil bottle, which is supposed to last, I think, um, like three to five months. But here's the thing. Lash extensions are expensive. So if you think about it, if Latisse actually works, then it's actually cheaper than getting lash extensions. You know what I mean? Because real talk, those fills, you got to do like two to three weeks. And then it looks dumb when you have like two lash extensions left on one eye and like five on the other eye, you know? Like, you got to keep up with it. It's just like nails where, you know, nails look really great when they're freshly done. But if you're going to go two months without a fill and it literally looks like a piece of plastic hanging off your fingers, you don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it. Just admit that nail maintenance is not for you and just leave it alone. You know? So that's that's my thing. I just had to admit that lash maintenance was not for me. But I will update you guys on my Latisse journey. If I get any results, we'll see. Do you guys know what I just put on my lids? Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. It's hard to wear as a highlight, but... Look at that, look how pretty that is. Oh my God. Speaking of lashes, these were sent to me by my girl D. She sent me a nice little care package with a bunch of stuff. I don't know how to put lashes on you guys. Like I've never put lashes on before. I think I put lashes on once, I'm not gonna lie. I put lashes on my face once, but that was like 
six six years ago i don't know <sighs> should i try it oh by the way these are ardell demi wispies in black okay apply a thin line of adhesive along band wait 30 seconds to set let me find out i'm about to be a strip lash girl what I don't even know if I'll be able to put these on, y'all. And then it says secure lash band by pressing onto lash line. Okay, sorry guys, I don't know. Wow, that feels so weird. I think I applied it too high though. Look. <laughs> Does that look dumb? Like, look, see the separation? Oh no, it's falling off, shit. I mean, that's pretty, but I don't know if these are gonna stay on, girl. Let me try the other one. And it says you can reuse them, like you just clean the adhesive off and then you can reuse them. Okay, to all my strip lash girls, how many uses do you get out of your lashes? Like, how many times do you reuse them? Oh no, no, no. Okay, you guys, I don't know. I feel like I did a pretty good job for my first time. You can definitely see the band, though. I guess that's why people put eyeliner on after, but I don't feel like wearing eyeliner. No, this one's this one's hanging. Ah, uh, oh. You guys, it's hanging off. It's hanging off. It's It came off. I need more glue. I need more glue. Clearly, I need more practice, guys, but... Can I get like, can I get a round of applause for my first attempt or no? We need a little bit of highlight. I'm thinking I'm gonna use a touch of Trophy Wife just since I used it on my lids, you know? But like literally, this is very gold, you guys. You have to do such a light hand. You know what I mean? Like one dabble for both sides. And then just fan it out. See? It's beautiful, but I'm just saying, you gotta be careful if you're trying to make it wearable. You know when this is really gorgeous in the summer when you do your collarbones? Girl, it's so pretty. Okay, so for my lips, I kinda wanna wear smoked purple. I haven't worn smoked purple since probably last winter because I feel like it's a winter fall color, so let me grab it. Okay, smoked purple is by MAC, of course. Is this eyelash falling off again? Yup. Okay, this is kind of the look I was visualizing. I'm not mad at it. I ain't mad at ya. Oh, you can see my mic now. I got my hair done a couple weeks ago by Styles by Kia. They're individual crochet goddess locks. I don't know what brand of hair she used because she made the locks. Um, oh, that's cute. A little side pony. Hold on. I think I just did something. think I might have done something. Okay. And these earrings are new in shop from TonyDaily.com. They're my yin-yang earrings, and I love them. All right, guys, this is the final look. Don't look too closely at the lashes, though. I think I'm getting better. I'm getting better, you guys. Okay, I feel like my next, now that I've overcome my fear of strip lashes, <laughs> I feel like my next Gossip and Glam should be Instagram thought makeup. You know what I'm talking about, that look. I think I, think I can do the look now. I'm about to get up out of here. I have another video to record coming up, which is a support assist to haul. Yay! Thanks for helping me put my lashes on. Let me not blink too hard. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Peace.